me, Aaron, from PhoneDog.com, and move over Android and iOS. There's a new competitor on the horizon. Windows Phone is really making some waves, and I'm here with two awesome Windows Phones on T-Mobile, the Nokia Lumia 710 and the HTC Radar 4G. Now, the Lumia 710 is Nokia's first Windows Phone device to be available on a carrier in the United States. Then you have the Radar 4G over here, also available from T-Mobile with very similar specs. Now, both have 5 megapixel cameras, both have very similar displays, and both have Windows Phone 7.5, also known as Mango. So what do we do in Phone Dog Land when we're trying to decide between two awesome handsets? We dogfight them. That's what we do. It's a Lumia 710 versus the Radar 4G and a Phone Dog dogfight. But first, some love to Best Buy Mobile because they hook us up with phones just like this for use in our one pod game. When you go into Best Buy Mobile to get either of these devices, you'll walk out without dealing with rebates. You'll get the after rebate price. You don't have to deal with paperwork or waiting eight to ten weeks for a rebate card, anything like that. At Best Buy Mobile, you'll walk out rebate free. Let's take a look at both of these. Lumia 710, Radar 4G. So the goal of Windows Phone was to bring about a whole new way in which you use your phone. So obviously you can see, you know, Metro UI in full effect here. That's what Microsoft calls this custom UI that they have in Windows Phone. Metro UI is designed after subway tiles, and you can see that, you know, some of them are rectangular, some of them are square. Now the thing I don't like about this is I can see a use for rectangular tiles. You know, for example, calendar is rectangular, but messaging isn't. I can see a use for messaging being rectangular, or maybe mail being rectangular, because I could see previews of my messages or see previews of uh, my emails and you can't do that you know when you go to pin something for example I hit marketplace I click I guess that's already on the start but let's go to my account for example and I'll hit pin to start and I can bring that over to the start well it's automatically a square it doesn't give me an option as to whether I you know want to make it a rectangle or a square and that's kind of frustrating I hope in future versions of Windows they can change that also another thing I don't like is when you go up here to the top the notification bar or the, uh, the status bar if you will will not stay up top regardless of how much you want it to. The clock will stay up there with the battery and of course the signal strength indicator all goes away. Now you can make it available at least the signal strength meter when you're in phone calls as you can see right here on both of these devices. It does pop up and is available but anytime you want to see battery life, anytime you want to see if you have a 3G or 4G connection or any data connection at all you have to scroll it down which is uh, also kind of annoying over time you know at least for me when I go in and out of data areas or go, I go in and out of signal strength uh, I'd like to know when it's going out and you can't really tell from the uh, from the main display as it is right here so let's take a look at some of the features of uh, Windows Phone as well starting with the people hub here this is where you can see for example my Twitter account popped up and we can see me there and you can see my latest Twitter update which that is not my latest Twitter update so it should update shortly but I can come over here and see all of my different Twitter stuff Problem with the account, oh well. And you can see it there, and then of course some contacts as well. So let's go into Joe Brown over here, and let's see if I have Joe Brown over on this one uh, as well. I don't, but we can go into Phone Dog Aaron, for example, since there's a picture, and you can see here it shows Windows Live for Joe Brown, then it shows Google. So to show if it's a Twitter contact, a Google contact, or you know Windows Live, or all of the above, and you can see the mobile number, which is a really long string of numbers there, and I can text message if I so desire. I can also see the history so I can see when I called or text messaged that person, I can search Google Mail, which is a pretty nice little feature. So I can come down here and say, hey, when did I last talk to Phone Dog Aaron? When did I last text message him? I can see that, and of course, the picture uh, is right there as well. And then I can integrate Twitter and Facebook pretty easily into all this people stuff by uh, adding those to my What's New. And one other little feature I like about this is you can see here, for example, I've got some contacts. I can click on B, and it lights up with the ones that I have contacts in. So I can easily say, well, I don't have a contact that's ending in D, or a contact that's ending in W, or a contact that's ending in Y. But I can go over here and easily scroll between all my different contacts depending on the letters of their name. So that's a nice little touch as well. And then, you know, it's all about minimalism, and you can really see it over here as well uh, over here in the T-Mobile uh, the call log and you can see history pops up by default but I've got shortcuts down here at the bottom for a call log I've got my dial pad I've got my contacts and of course search and like I said in part one if you're like I'm not really sure what that means I can press these little three dots and it brings up some subtitles below along with some additional menu stuff like delete all and call settings so you can see over here the buttons again very quick and easy to use very easy to dial on same thing over here uh, as well, and again, like I said in part one, Nokia's clear black display really magnified when you look at like dark display, dark screens like this. And of course, you can see the uh, the T-Mobile ID, and I can either call the number or save it. So again, very easy to use and very minimalistic, and that's a pretty nice touch. Now, one thing the Lumia 710 does have going for it that the Radar 4G does not is Nokia Drive out of the box. Now, you know, I've always said Windows Phone really needs a Maps application, kind of like Google Maps on Android. You know, and iOS needs one as well while we're at it. But you've got Maps, of course, pre-installed on all Windows phones. 
but it doesn't really answer the fundamental question of driving, you know, turn by turn navigation. Well, Nokia Drive, I can pop up in here, go into Nokia Drive, which like I said, comes pre-installed in this. I can come down here and take a look and I can set my destination if I want to and come in here and we'll say destination is, uh, well, let's just say 55 Elm Street or something. How about eh, 55 degree wine bar? That sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. I'm thirsty. We can do that. And then I can say drive to and I can find that route and it finds it right from my office, and then I can start. So nice turn-by-turn -turn navigations there. Of course, I can show those in 2D or in 3D, excuse me, which is a nice touch. And uh, yeah, I've got my settings as well, got some uh, other options, landmarks. I can turn on map colors. I've got some navigation voice choices. But it's really nice to see this out of the box. And, you know, since they acquired Navtech, they've really done some great things with maps. And, again, it's a feature that a lot of people use, and it's nice to see it over here. Now, over on this side, you do get Telenav. And, like, on both of these devices, you get Telenav GPS Navigator. But to have Nokia Drive as a free alternative out of the box to, uh, to Bing Maps, it's nice to get it free. Now, T-Mobile TV pre-installed on both of these. We'll take a look at that as well while we're at it. And you can see T-Mobile TV loading up. And I believe it's $9.99 per month for the uh, anything more than basic channels. And it should say, okay, reminder. Let's see what we can get here. Live TV and on demand. And like I said, I think for the, uh, for the advanced, it's $9.99 per month. So we'll come in here into uh, ESPN Mobile, for example, and we'll get it to pop up. And again, hopefully with that HSPA Plus speed, it will uh, pop up pretty quickly. So you can see ESPN Mobile loading up right now. And you can do that on the Lumia 710 as well over here. We'll wait for this to load up. And while that's loading up, we'll take a look uh, over on this side as well. you got tune in radio. There we go. Looks like a little bit of buffering issue there. Got the volume turned up. And then tune in radio over here as well, along with, like I was talking about, Telenav and T-Mobile over here. So you're not really missing any of those features by going with either of these devices. They both come pre-installed. So ESPN's loading up right now, though. There is a little bit of a buffering issue. Uh, that said, it is kind of rush hour uptown, and I'm in my office. So that may be uh, some strain on the cell sites may be causing this as well. But you can get kind of a loose idea of what it's like. And you can see a little bit choppy, but uh, that's enough for now. Let's take a look. Five megapixel cameras on both of these devices, and both shoot video at 720p and both have nice little uh, camera shortcut buttons over here on the side so let's do a picture of how about Aaron's wallet bring that over and we'll bring it right there and we'll take a picture of the fossil insignia on both of this and let's see what we can do here there's that <coughs> excuse me and then uh, of course you can see it right there and same thing with the radar let's go ahead and take a picture of it and a half press to zoom in full press, take the picture. And what I love about Windows Phone is it's easy to access to go from the live camera application back to your existing picture. So I can easily go from the actual application, scroll right into my gallery and see all these pictures. You can really see text input and again, you know, the pinch to zoom. I'm big on fluidity and if you've watched any of my videos, you know this, but I'm just amazed with how fluid Windows Phone is. And you know, of course you miss out on some of the hacking and the rooting and the modding, but what you gain is a very consistently fluid uh, experience. And same thing with the Lumia over here. I can scroll back and forth between some pictures I've taken before. And they both have very clean cameras. You know, if I had to call one, I'd give it a slight edge, ever so slightly, to the Radar 4G. I find the camera's just ever so slightly better. So if you do, are doing a lot of still pictures, I think you'll be pleased with either one. But, you know, just by a hair, the, uh, the Radar 4G may be the, little, the one that's a little bit better. But still looking good over here on the Lumia 710. And, uh, you know, overall, I've been pretty impressed with it. And then I can easily scroll right back and jump right back into the settings where I can change, you know, of course, scenes, white balance, and I can go back and forth between my camcorder uh, and then my still shots uh, as well. And then over here, because I have a front-facing camera, it gives me the option to go back and forth between the front-facing shooter and then go back to the rear-facing shooter, as you can see there. So slight edge to the Radar 4G in the camera department. Let's take a look at a bandwidth on this device. And while bandwidth is loading up over here, I'm going to show you the marketplace, uh, Windows marketplace as is. 50,000 apps and strong. And over here you can see HTC applications pop right up. And I actually want to show you this as well over here because you'll see Nokia applications that pop up over on this device. So you get kind of a uh, manufacturer store within a store, if you will, along with your apps. So I'm going to download Speed Test over here. Speed Test. And see what we can come up with because I did uh, forget to download it over here on this device. So we're going to go ahead and install it. And before we do that, I'll show you, you know, reviews you can see by scrolling over, screenshots, related, and then I can scroll down and see the details of the actual applications. They're all kind of separated into different folders, if you will, as opposed to being kind of like Android where it's on one screen. You kind of scroll through and find your individual sections. So we'll allow that and we'll go ahead and install that. Windows Live ID required. 
go ahead and log in. And we're gonna have to forego speed test over here since it's saying I'm installed on a maximum number of five devices and I'm gonna have to do a hard reset. Anyway, we'll do speed test over here now that you've taken a look at the marketplace on both of these devices and we'll do the bandwidth application because both of these have HSPA plus capabilities up to 14.4 megabits per second. So we'll go ahead and begin the test here and let it take a look. And while we're doing that, I'll talk a little bit about call quality uh, and battery life on both of these devices. I find the battery to be just ever so slightly better on the Radar 4G. Now obviously, like I said in part one, 1,300 milliamp hour battery over here while you have a 1,520 milliamp hour battery over here on the Radar 4G. Now, you get a little bit of a bigger display on the Radar 4G, but it's offset by a smaller pro or a slower processor, if you will, a processor that's clocked a little bit lower, 1.4 gigahertz over here as opposed to one gigahertz Snapdragon over on the radars. I do find it to be a little bit better on the radar, not by as much as you would think though. You know, I get about eight to 10 hours with moderate use, uh, roughly, I say nine to 10 really, uh, on the, uh, the Radar 4G, I get about eight, on the, uh, the Lumia 710 based on my testing, you know, downloading some applications, making some phone calls, uh, and more. So, again, nothing to, you know, to write home about, at least in terms of battery life. I mean, they're both kind of adequate, but uh, the Radar 4G does get a slight nod uh, in the battery life department, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, Call quality, very good on both of these devices. I noticed that the call quality, at least for me, is slightly better on the Lumia 710. Yeah, I took these to a dead spot uh, in North Charlotte for T-Mobile, and uh, the, the Lumia 710 does ever so slightly outperform the Radar 4G in the call quality department. Now, I don't know why this did not. Let's try this one more time, see if we can get a decent download speed here to talk, show off the, uh, the speed test. But Lumia 710, very good in the call quality department. You know, Nokia has always done an astounding job with the wireless radio, and uh, they, you know, the 710 doesn't disappoint. It's been very, very good, and the call quality and the earpiece is nice and loud uh, as well. So it looks like I'm not getting a download speed. I don't know why, but upload speed's about 0.62 megabits per second. Let's see what we've got in history here, just so you can kind of see. They've all been kind of rough, at least in this last, since I reset the device, or I reset the application, rather. They've all been kind of poor on the download speed, but I have seen speeds uh, on HSPA Plus devices on T-Mobile between three and five megabits per second. So I'm not quite sure uh, why they're that slow on this device. And you can see I'm kind of testing these all around the same time also, and in the same place, uh, at least since I did the last reset. So. It's uh, during rush hour, so it's very possible that could play a role on these devices. Now, both of these are good devices. You know, I think these are great mid-range devices. And one thing I love about Windows Phone is, you know, mid-range doesn't always mean crappy software and crappy hardware. You get a very good experience with Windows Phone 7.5, and it's not like it's a you know a different experience. It's not like Android 2.2 on a low-end device, an ice cream sandwich like on the Galaxy Nexus. I mean, you're getting the same version for the most part of Windows Phone 7.5 on the Radar 4G as you are on the Titan and on the newly announced Titan 2 on AT&T. Specs are very similar. Really where you see the difference is in Windows Phone as opposed to you know everything on Android. You see the difference of course in larger displays, slightly better cameras, but you can get a really good experience with Windows Phone for 49 or 100 bucks or even free in some cases. And that's what I really like about these devices. Great mid-range phones. I think Windows Phone is currently pioneering everything in the mid-range department. So much better, you know, take at least in my opinion than Android. Uh, you know, where you're getting a 600 megahertz processor, an old version of Android, and it's just not as, you know, quality of an experience. Now, dogfight has to be, you know, a winner has to be declared in a dogfight, so I do have to give it to one, and just by a narrow edge, very, very narrow, and I explain in just a second, it goes to the Lumia 710. The reason why the Lumia 710, the drive application, really throws it over the top for me. A free GPS application really makes this thing competitive with iOS and with Android. You know, and in this ever you know present ecosystem war, it's very important there. Applications like Nokia's We Care, TuneIn Radio, it's nice to have those pre-installed out of the box. And even though it's not the Lumia 800 in terms of build quality, uh, it's a very, very good device. Now the Radar 4G comes in a really close second. Really, it would depend to me uh, in a real, you know, real life scenario as to which one's cheaper. If the Radar 4G is free and this is 49 bucks or 69 bucks, I'd say go with the Radar 4G. But all things equal, the uh, the 710 takes the cake. But take a look at this design. You know, better battery over here, nicer design in my opinion. And uh, even though the display is not as vivid, it is just ever so slightly larger. And despite having a slower processor, it is right on par in the speed department. So a you know, tough call. But by hair, the Lumia 710 wins. Much more coverage to come on PhoneDog.com with both of these devices. So keep it locked on the site for continuing coverage. I'm about to lose my voice, so I need to, uh, to sign out. But before I do that, be sure to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash PhoneDog. We're always giving away cool stuff. You know, We're always on there. We're super cool to hang out with. So check us out, facebook.com slash PhoneDog. Follow me on Twitter as well. Let me know what you think. You know, If you think the radar should have won or you think the Lumia 710 should have won, let me know. PhoneDog underscore Aaron on Twitter and on Facebook at facebook.com 
slash phone dog ab. Thanks for watching. Keep it locked on phone dog for more dog fights. And as always, we'll see you next time.